Hi, this is just a quick movie showing you how to operate the warping macro that you'll find on the solution zone, solution number 595. This macro is good at dealing with warped images, or images that have been taken with a perspective or an angle, and it will actually realign them and make them straight again, so you can get some nice linear calibrations and make some measurements. So, it's quite a simple macro here. We just click on the four corners, of a square which has been distorted, like so, and then it should readjust, there we go, perfect, and we have a nice perfect square and we can make some measurements if we wanted. So where might somebody want to use this? Well, the obvious application is for aerial photographs. So for example, an aerial photograph of a field or a pitch, like this, we can't really do much with that right now. It, it's you know it's at a funny angle. It's all distorted. You can't get any. You couldn't get a linear calibration certainly. So by running the macro, if I click on the four corners of this image or this pitch, it will create a square from those corners. Okay, so you can see now I've got my pitch and it's is square. But looking at the new image we've created, it's it's actually still not really great because the pitch in real life isn't square. So a nice little trick that I could do here would be just to create something which I know is a square. So I know that around this circle, if I draw a box around this circle and take that as a square and do another adjustment I should be able to get a nicer image. Okay, I'd say that was about right. Yep, okay. So if I run this macro again Just want to be quite accurate this time to get a nice square linear image. I'm going to click on each corner. Okay. Now that looks a bit better to me. So what I might want to do now is just make some simple measurements so I could uh, add a quick calibration and I'm going to call this pitch and we're going to do it in yards okay so draw a reference line well I know that this distance happens to be 18 yards I think that will do okay Next, finish. So now we've got a calibrated image, so I might want to make some distance measurements. So I don't know, how far is it to the penalty spot? Let's find out. 13 and a half yards. Well, close enough. How, how wide is the pitch? 67 yards. Okay. Well, I hope this has been helpful. For more information, please contact your local sales office or dealer. Thanks.